Goranges on view for our sale on the 8th of January, which will feature the West Horsley Place attic sale. Some 250 or so lots of mixed treasures from West Horsley Place. An interesting mixture here. All sorts of items. We've got furniture. We have silver chest. It's a rather splendid group of three here. There we are, belong to Lord Houghton. And down below, we've got Lord Crewe's silver chest. Huge marble mortar there. A number of antique prints. Furniture, including the RN trunk and these painted chests, a selection of armchairs running through into the main room. We have the wholesale lotted and laid out, ready for viewing in early January. So, looking around the room, we see again a mixture of furniture. This painting hung in the Duchess's bedroom for many years by Leon Gershon. We have a number of portraits. Rather splendid Bessarabian carpet there. That's lot number 66, estimate three to 500 pounds. Or a very handsome Regency marble top table there. Lot 65 in at 700 to 1,000. Number of works by Adrian Daintree in the sale. There's one of them. Estimate five to 800 and possibly a nom de plume, in fact, for Daintree. This is signed Walter Lewino. The ice pails are Wedgwood. One's rather poorly. Condition is certainly worth considering in this sale, but a handsome pair nonetheless. It's a Brangwyn etching there. Lot 61, in at one to 200. A repair of these, Victorian Prix Dieu. Splendid. Edwardian extending dining table there with four leaves and around it separate lot set of 12 Victorian mahogany chairs in need of some restoration Number of services in the sale That one's Copeland Spode breakfast service We have Victorian porcelain dessert ware the Wedgwood urns are dated 1913 a number of oriental lots in the sale. I should think the most notable being lot 92, the vase there, mounted at some point as a lamp, estimate eight to 1200 pounds. Further paintings, again, very much in line with Daintree, certainly contemporary to his time in Paris. It's been signed Odette de Garrette. We have a pair of mint and vases there, we're handsome. Flowers to one side, children to the other. Number of equestrian related works. This is by Fred Fitzpatrick. The portrait of Stockinger, lot 186, estimate three to 500. A number of lots of silver in the auction. Flatware, assorted lots of miniatures. An objet de vertu. Two good gold pocket watches, fine etuis, the enameled plaques at the back there, lot 125. Further run of silverware. And more miniatures. That's lot 95, the Flemish school, oil on copper. Estimate two to three hundred. Back round the cabinet. Some Chinese works of art, handsome pair of Derby figures there, Europe and Africa, and a good needlework box, bronze and ormolu candelabra. Interesting selection, all the things that one would have left over in the attic after many years of occupation of one house. I think the house was occupied since the 1930s, and many of these items came from other notable houses prior to that. This is another Fitzgerald work, lot 202, estimate four to 600. Another huge carpet, it's so big it won't 
the room is not big enough for it. But we've had it out and there are photographs online showing its rather perilous condition, but still it looks like it might be worth saving. As mentioned before, some good armchairs, club armchairs, in the manner of Howard and Sons. Those two, although not matching upholstery-wise, are a pair. We have a pair of the lights, in the manner of Osler. Ceramics on the table include Meissen, Rockingham, and Mason's Ironstone. Good pair of 19th century pier tables, console tables, in need of some work. And the cabinet is uh, Regency, unusually made from cedar wood. There's another Adrian Daintree oil showing across there. And the cell also features a number of notable table lamps, many of which with uh, attributions to the architect who designed them for a different house, not for West Horsley. So, good all-round mixture. This will be on view the Friday, Saturday and Sunday prior to the sale, which takes place on Monday the 8th, starting at 10 o'clock. All viewable online at Gorringe's website. If you want to know more about any of the items, send us an email and we'll reply with condition and further details. <laughs>